Oh, yeah. with a hip-hop vibe. Hey, what's up? So these cookies got a little got a little walk to it, got a little thick to it. It's all about this 90s vibe. This place is called Cookie Plug. Tonight, a new downtown business is sparking conversation, not because it's brand new to Mass Ave, but some are calling the marketing racist. Our Logan Gay spoke with potential customers and the owner. Hey, Logan. Hey, Gina, the business is called The Cookie Plug, and today was its grand opening. The theme of the business is hip-hop, but some losers say the owners took it too far. John Howe is a member of the local hip-hop community. And I think it speaks volumes. <laughs> this is the member of the local hip-hop community the other day. Interview, yikes. All right. John Howe is a member of the local hip hop community. And I think it speaks volumes when you, Indianapolis is united against something because it's so offensive and disrespectful. So this is offensive and hip disrespectful. This guy's a member of the Indianapolis hip hop community. And he did, and his. The first time we hear from him being offended about something is some damn cookies, some hip hop cookies. And because it's so offensive and disrespectful. He's talking about this new business, Cookie Plug, a mess out. Some Hoosiers believe the bakery is using drug references to sell cookies and associate that with hip hop. It's not that they were picking on this particular business because they're white people passing as a hip hop franchise. That's not it. Y'all aren't what you're representing. Yeah. And for you to act like you are and then have this type of stuff and just consider it fun and, and this is a vibe. No, nah, this is real life shit goes on. I can see. So now. Black people all serious about, you know, the image that hip hop presents. <laughs> yeah, I think it's funny that they do that. Like, man, we talking about serious shit. You know, little Dookie face is beefing right now with, you know, big <laughs> shoes. And we, you know, they beefing and that shit for real, man. They might shoot somebody over that shit. Man, this shit's important to the country. You feel me? Yeah, Shut any other up. time, they don't give a fly fuck. I can see what's going on, everybody. All right, so this is not my normal content, but I got to bring attention to this. So you see this place behind me right here? This is called the Cookie Plug. Apparently, they got 30 plus locations worldwide, and they just opened up one here in Indy. It's a bakery that sells cookies, but you know how they sell these cookies? Their whole gimmick is to appropriate what they deem as black culture while dressing up drug culture. What they deem as black culture. Nah, bruh drug culture as fun in order to make a profit. Oh, what, you don't believe me? So here we have what they call the purple haze cookie. And we can't forget about this pixie junkie cookie. Mm. Oh yeah, while you at it, don't forget to get you some of that purple drink. All right, guys, we got to talk what? about a fascinating story. Wow. Yo, these niggas are retarded, bro. I hate <laughs> niggas, bro. Oh my God. Yo. Damn. Embarrassing, man. I mean, just embarrassing. How can you be this dumb? Like, I'm this shit ba baffles me, bro. And why didn't y'all do this? That's I think there's a there's a there's a percentage of this outrage that's like, damn, why didn't we fucking make hip hop cookies? Why we let a white man come and make this shit to make money? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. So, Alpha, I think it was too retarded to make. Purple haze cookies. Y'all niggas got is. albums about this shit. Y'all can't make a, a purple haze cupcake. I don't know some shit. What to do? Let's get into it. Go back. A newly opened hip hop cookie shop is creating a buzz, but not in a good way. I mean, it's Kat Sandoval takes us into this cookie shop and takes a deep dive and tells us why the business is in hot water. Cookie Plug's opening week was anything but sweet, with some Hoosiers calling their marketing strategy racist or misappropriating black culture. Those comments are hurtful, so I'm not even watching it. Doreen Waters. And Same thing as we seen on the goddamn What Would You Do? Some white woman jumping to the rescue of sons, man. 
That's a strange partnership. Man. Sure. Those comments are hurtful, so I'm not even watching it. Doreen Waters and her husband Michael opened up a cookie shop on Mass Avenue. It's a California franchise called Cookie Plug. It has graffiti on the walls, okay. hip hop references, and phrases in slang usually associated with drugs. Me selling cookies. That's all we're doing. But the details are there from boxes with money and references like, thank you for supporting your neighborhood dough dealer, cookies called fatties, and a drink called purple drink. I mean, I grew up during this time and I, I never have done drugs. Purple drink is just that. It's a purple drink. It's lemonade. But for people who grew up with hip hop culture, purple drink was a reference to a deadly drug mix some rappers would drink. When the franchise... They're calling... Um lean a deadly drug mix trying to like make the guilt the glider now you're so like it's a dead no listen all of them drink it and a few of them die from it all of them drink that shit they still drink this shit and promote it. now it was promote when the gliders it. profit off it, it's like yo y'all promoting this deadly Fucking drugs on the community and profiting off it because y'all some evil white devils. There's a line in almost every verse. I don't know about now, but in the 2000s, teens, from like after Wayne like came out with that shit, like the Carter, like 04 or whatever, till like I last can remember every verse or every song. I say once every verse, every song had a reference to Lee. Some kind of reference. Yeah, it was it was an error, like like you said after Wayne started really, because you know he was the hottest at one point, and every nigga was like, "Oh, sipping the, I'm about to pour a four or pour an eight, some shit like that, bro." It was it was another yeah. shit. That shit is crazy. Um, Iz is not aware of what these uh, ter what the terminology is dealing with. And to be honest, tropes that are used to, as gimmicks to sell people lemonade and sell children lemonade, that is absolutely a problem. Again, you know what's so hilarious about this to me? Again, I'm not... They don't care nothing about the issues that are in the community. Because look, check this out. Remember, if you were here yesterday, you'll remember this. If you were here yesterday... And you and you were watching the show with us yesterday, man. Shout out to everybody. Hold on. We still have a lot more growing. Let me do that. Let me do that. Um, yesterday we did a story. Yesterday we did a story. Um, where the fuck is it? Um, here we are. This. Hey, welcome back, Tim. Is it Pookie Crack Cakes this morning? I know it sounds crazy, oh, Pookie right? Pookie Crack Cakes. The Sun Man in Chicago is selling pookie crack cakes. <laughs> What's worse? What's worse? What those white people are doing on pookie crack cakes? I mean, it wasn't like a a, a lean era where niggas was claiming lean destroyed the community like crack. So I'm going to assume what? crack was worse. What, what the fuck is a uh, pookie whatever? Is that like a dirt cookie or something? Oh yeah, um, I I don't know, but I know that it, no, these are like very sweet, like sugary, like cakes with, with top with sugar, um, more sugar and more sugar. It's like icing on top of like strawberry cake and some shit. Hey, welcome back, Tim. Is it Pookie Crack Cakes this morning? I know, it sounds crazy, right? <laughs> and if the name Pookie sounds familiar to you this week, these viral TikToks might be why. Take a look. Eight night. Saturday night, going to Hell's, our favorite steakhouse on the planet. And I gotta say, Pookie looks absolutely fire tonight. This couple I'm is... I'm slap that dude. how this ties in. This couple is going viral. And now people are reenacting the original video showed above. The husband calls his wife Pookie as they show off their outfits in different videos. And we thought it would be perfect to show since our next <laughs> segment is literally looking so delicious or fire, like the hub said. So to eat. But Pookie has this a is lot the of different people kinds. That make and Douglas Simmons here. And now she's working on some strawberry These are the people one. who make cookie Pookie crack cakes. These, them. Which I'm going to taste wow. here in just a minute. Pookie 
crack cakes. Yikes. You can't make no outrage sure. about that. Yeah, no outrage. Okay, so let me ask you, marketing man. <laughs> when, was there an epiphany where you guys said, okay, we can't do this out of our house anymore. We need to take this to a bigger scale. Yes. I mean, you know, my wife was burning out ovens. I think she got to the fourth oven, and I was like, enough. Let's see what this is together, sir. The background behind this cake, has something to do with your great-grandmother? So my signature cake, which is the uh, butter pecan praline, um, that was my, that's how it all started. It all started with her um, signature uh, praline glaze that she used to put on top of her bread pudding. And so once I created a cake comparable to it, I put those two, I married those two together and it was just a hit. It was the only cake that I sold for four years, the only flavor for four years. And I sold out of that cake every single weekend. All right, I have the price right, eleven seventy nine plus tax. Plus tax, yes. So they come See, so pookie crack cakes. How crass is that? Yeah. How crass. I wonder if they named it after some relative that got gunned down by the cops or some shit. Pookie crack cakes. Rest in peace, Pookie. Where is this located? That that one, this is Chicago news, so it's like looks like it's somewhere. So wicked, um, can you go get some of these and then give us a taste test? Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll let me throw on my bulletproof vest and shit. Yeah, it's the south side. It's on the south side. Pookie oh, crack, crack cakes. cakes. Yikes. And that's not the only shit like this. Winner of this year's... Nah, but, but most of the time it's white people benefiting from that shit. They take the shit. They have the acumen to make a business out of it. And then niggas hate. Like, for instance, the, the biggest hip-hop radio station... Right now is shade forty five, right? Mm -hmm. Eminem's Eminem's station that he started. Not to be confused with the shade room, but Eminem oh, has okay. a rate. Yeah, the, the, uh, I think it's on Sirius or something like that, or whatever it is on. But it's the biggest radio hip hop radio station, and it's Eminem's owns that station. And it's like. Of all the rappers that have ever rapped, that's the guy. Who who do they buy all their um grills from? I know you know this. Uh what the fuck? Uh Johnny Dang. Paul Wall. Oh, they buy dude uh grills from Paul Wall. Paul Wall is the biggest um grill. Paul Wall, he's the biggest grill um maker aside from um Johnny Dang. Damn, um, he, I ain't even know yeah. Paul Wall got into that shit. You ain't know that? Yeah, Paul Wall is... Oh, he's been, he, yeah. Uh, I ain't know what the fuck he was doing. I'm he's just been, ever since he came out, he's been doing that, I thought. He was all about it, right? Yeah, he, <laughs> he sell them, though. But now, yeah, now he sells them. He's like the plug for the... um. He's the plug there for the is. grills. Uh, cookie Cookie Plug founder is Eric Martinez, although uh, it's a white guy CEO. Wow. Cookie Plug. Look at this. It's Paul Wall is the plug, man. He's the one. That's him and Johnny Dang right there. Um, the world's largest grilled juicy store. Wow. It, if you want a grill, if, uh, whenever you see the something with the grill, they either got it from him or him. Dang. <laughs> Well, so, so the terrible at business, man. Yeah, we don't, we don't business. Paul, Paul, Paul Wall acts like the sun man, so does that count? He nah. an honorary sun man. Yeah, he, yeah, he grew up around us. Yeah, but he's still like, like obviously, look, look at this. This proves he ain't no son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if he got like five percent. Yeah, fact. Yeah, so he a, little, he a little ten, bro. He ain't got like, a, uh, when is the government going to uh, pay reparations to everyone but black people because black people are just going to spend it on? <laughs> yeah, we, we 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 um, we're something else, man. We are something else, man. We're yo, 
different. Yo, I can, if Suns ever get reparations, bro, I'm for sure by getting me a rim shot. I'm going to get together with the guys, <laughs> open up a rim shot. Right. Facts. Facts. Hey, ah. What's up, man? Amanda Seals just posted this wild video of these cops trashing this young boy. Oh, you talking about the fat, the, the chubby, dark-skinned guy? Yeah, that shit had me tripping. Yeah, I saw that. He was fighting with them. They had they had no choice. I can't show that on here, man. I know. 